Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In the previous video on dealing with effects parameters, we took a look at how we could insert individual parameters on individual tracks, how we could assign them to a specific MIDI controller, and how we basically use those. We're going to take that one step further now where we start to apply some automation to that by using the MIDI controller or the control surface tied in to the specific uh, effects parameter that we're working with and how we can record all that so we can get creative with the sounds that we're working with and how we can intersperse the different effects parameters uh, with each of these tracks. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So what we currently have on screen in front of us at the moment is my track setup. I've got the output and the shape one. I want to get rid of output and change that to a different control so I'm just going to remove that. Shape one jumps up to the top and we can just simply come onto this and just choose whichever parameter we want to sort of assign to that particular block. So shape one and shape two, which if I just open up my effects, we can see shape one is the drive, shape two is the EQ. At the moment, these are not assigned to any of my control surface controls. So I've cleared all that out. What we're gonna do next is just simply assign shape one. We'll click in into learn mode. We'll just adjust that particular control option. It'll pick up the MIDI channel, click OK. And now you'll see that if I move it, the drive moves on the interface and it also moves in my track panel. I can do the same for shape two. Let me cancel that a second. Learn, use a different control and there we go, OK. So now shape one is controlled, which is the EQ which is the shape two, which is the EQ, shape one, which is the drive. So they are now assigned to their individual MIDI controllers on my control surface. So all good. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to put this into the ability to start adjusting these automation tracks. So all we need to do is click on trim. And what that'll do is it brings up a simple dialog box that shows us all the standard options we have, the volume pan width, pre-FX volume pan width and mute. But underneath that, we've got any of the VSTs or any of the effects we have assigned to this particular track. We can now control those. So you can see we've got shape one, shape two, output, input, bypass, and wet. We only want to deal with shape one in this example. So all I'm going to do is click shape one. That'll bring up the automation track, which you can see is already set up for us. We've got it set to visible. It's automatically set to armed. We've already learnt and uh, we don't want to deal with any modulation. So we say, okay, we're happy with that. So there's our track already set up. Our automation channel is ready on there. We just now need to put it into a position where we can make changes to that. So what we need to do is simply change this from being trim read and switch it into write mode. You can see now that sets everything to red. We can see that the center, all of these controls are set to red the sliders, everything set to red. So we now know that this is armed and ready to start doing things. So if I now adjust shape one, you can see we're already starting to show some changes. So let me just undo that. Put it back into right mode. And now if I press play, what we're going to find is that all the changes I make to the control surface for this particular parameter will start to be recorded. So let's take a look at how that works. Now you're not going to hear anything, it's just to sort of show you what's being done. So if I just hit play, don't need to be in record because we've set the parameter to be in record mode. So we'll just hit play. And as I adjust my control surface, you can see that all my changes are being recorded on screen. So I'm adjusting the amount of drive that's going through this particular base. So if we take it right at the bottom, there's no drive. Take it right at the top, we're on full 100% drive. I just hit stop. And now we can see that all of the things that I've done have been recorded. So if I play that back, we'd see that the drive would increase and decrease as I'm going through. Now, once I'm happy with that, I can simply hit Right, put this back into trim read mode. And then all of the changes that I've done are already set up for us. Now, as you can see, it's pretty sensitive. So it's 
putting a lot of points in there which can get a little bit overwhelming. So what we can do is we can reduce the number of points while still retaining the majority of the shape. So let's take a look at how we can do that. Okay, so all we need to do to reduce the number of points and smooth these out a little bit is simply right click on any one of these points and simply select reduce number of points. What we can do is we can just adjust this and as you see points are disappearing as we're going along. So as long as we retain the majority of the shape that we had originally, we can reduce these down until we get a nice smooth action on there. So we'll say OK. So that's reduced the number of points considerably, but it shouldn't really show much difference in the quality of the uh, effect that we're applying. We're still going to see quite a smooth transition between the drive and no drive based upon this automation. Now obviously this is just an example of how it works, but hopefully what it's shown you is how you can link these two techniques together and you can create some quite cool automation effects that apply to the parameters of any specific uh, effects or VST. So you can get really quite creative with this. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button. If you found it useful, hit the thumbs up. It all helps to get us better viewing figures in YouTube. If you've got any comments, suggestion or feedback on this or any of the other videos that we created for the Reaper TV channel, please pop them in the comment section below. We read everything you post in there and we try to feedback on everything, any questions you may ask. Until next time, happy mixing.